Assalamu alaikum boys and girls and welcome to Let's Read with Eliza. Hope you're enjoying the books on the channel and I'd be really grateful if you can like and subscribe to it and share it with your friends and family. What are we reading today? Today we're going to be reading Train to Al-Aqsa. Now this book has been written by Kamal Ali and Dr. Wendy Booth and it has been illustrated by Charis Badiul Chusna. Are you excited? Come on then, say with me. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Train to Al-Aqsa. Hamza and Maryam are off on a train ride. Choo-choo! The steam train is rolling along the tracks of the Hijaz railway line. Can you guess where they're going? That's right. They're off to visit Al-Aqsa Sanctuary in Palestine. So, Mum, we can go on a religious journey to Al-Aqsa, right? Asks Hamza. Yes, that's right. And guess what? We get extra reward for praying at Al-Aqsa. I'm going to pray loads then, inshallah, says Maryam. Wow, Dad, is that big gold dome Al-Aqsa Sanctuary? No, Hamza, that's the Dome of the Rock which sits inside the sanctuary of Al-Aqsa. When we get there, I will show you. Extra reward for praying at Al-Masjid Al-Haram, Al-Masjid Al-Nabwi and Al-Aqsa Sanctuary. Al-Masjid Al-Haram in Mecca. One prayer equals 100,000 prayers. At Al-Masjid Al-Nabwi in Medina, one prayer equals 1,000 prayers. And at Al-Aqsa Sanctuary, one prayer equals 500 prayers. The train stops and Hamza, Maryam and their mom and dad get off with their suitcases. The weather is hot and the sun is beating down, so they ride on a horse and carriage to get to their hotel. Everyone is really hungry. So after washing their hands and face, they go to the hotel restaurant for a dinner of traditional Palestinian food. That looks delicious. Yum, yum. The next day, Hamza, Maryam and their mum and dad go out to explore. They walk to the Al-Aqsa Sanctuary, which is easy to find because the Dome of the Rock Mosque stands out with its huge gold dome glistening in the sunlight. That's Masjid al Burak. Later on, I will tell you a very special bedtime story. All about the Burak, says Mum, pointing at a plaque on the wall. Who built the Dome of the Rock Mosque? asks Hamza. It was built by Caliph Abdul Malik ibn Marwan in 691 CE, about a hundred years after Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, first saw the angel Jibrail, explains Dad. What about Al-Masjid Al-Qibli? Ah, now, that's something really special, replies Dad as they walk around Al-Aqsa Sanctuary. Let's check it out and then I'll tell you. They climb the stairs and walk under the arches that lead to Masjid Al-Qibli. It's very cool inside as the sandy-coloured bricks protect from the heat. They pray to Raqqa and sit together in the corner of the mosque. It's such a special mosque that they want to stay for a while. So, who built Al-Aqsa, Dad? asks Hamza. Al-Aqsa was built just 40 years after the Kaaba in Mecca by Prophet Ibrahim and his son, Prophet Ismail. After a very long time, Al-Aqsa needed to be rebuilt and this was started by Prophet Dawood and finished by Prophet Suleiman. So you see, Al-Aqsa is a really important sanctuary for Muslims, explains Dad. Can we go shopping now? asks Maryam. Dad laughs and asks what she wants to buy. Dad takes Hamza and Maryam shopping while their mum goes back to the hotel. I want to buy a dress with Palestinian embroidery. I want to buy a Palestinian gefier. Well, I suppose you can't leave Jerusalem without buying traditional Palestinian clothes. 
As Hamsa, Mariam and their dad enter their hotel, they see an old man wearing a thorb and a turban and a group of children sitting around him, smiling. The old man looks up and says, Would you like to join us? We are talking about Al-Aqsa and the story of a very special night. Hamza and Mariam look at their dad, wide-eyed, as they love stories. Go on, you two. I'll go and see mum and we'll come and get you when it's time for dinner. Hamza and Mariam sit with the other children and the old man begins. Let me take you back in time. One night, when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was lying down, resting by the Kaaba, the angel Jibrail came to him to strengthen the belief in his heart. Then, a white animal called the Burak was brought to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, for him to ride. The Burak is an animal that is pure white in colour and bigger than a donkey. The Burak moves at lightning speed and in a single leap it reaches as far away as the eye can see. That's even faster than a Ferrari, exclaims one of the children in the group. And the old man laughs. This is what mum was going to tell us, Mariam whispers to Hamza. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, climbed onto the barak and off they went. Zoom, whoosh, zoom, whoosh. All the way from the Gaba in Mecca to Al-Aqsa in Jerusalem. The angel Jibrail told Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to tie the Burak to a post to stop him running away. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, found the prophets that went before him waiting at Al-Aqsa Mosque. All of the prophets lined up behind Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and he led them in Salah. Then another even greater miracle happened. A miracle that defies the laws of physics. Remember, Allah created the heavens and the earth, and Allah can do all things. Angel Jibrail took hold of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him's hand, and led him on an amazing journey upwards, up through the clouds, up through space, to the seven heavens. As he travelled through each heaven, each with its own gate, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, met some of the prophets from the past who recognised him and welcomed him. Eventually, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and Angel Jibrail reached the highest point where they saw a huge tree so big that its leaves are the size of elephant ears and its fruits are like huge jars, the biggest fruit you've ever seen. The angel Jibrail offered Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, a drink, and he chose some refreshing pure white milk. It was on this special night, while in the seven heavens, that Allah told the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that all Muslims should pray five times a day. It was now time to return home and tell the people about the journey and the five daily prayers. Back down on earth, the Barak was waiting and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, climbed onto him. Zoom, whoosh, zoom, whoosh. Off they went, all the way back to Makkah. This night is called Al-Isra wa Miraj and it is mentioned by Allah in the Quran. Glory be to the one who took his servant, Muhammad, by night from the sacred mosque to the farthest mosque, whose surroundings we have blessed, so that we may show him some of our own signs. Indeed, he alone is the all-hearing, all-seeing. Quran chapter 17, verse 1 I'm so glad we came to visit Al-Aqsa, says Maryam, smiling. Me too, says Hamza. Everyone should visit Al-Aqsa Mosque in Palestine. I hope I can come back when I'm older. Hey, what about you? Would you like to visit Al-Aqsa Mosque? How would you get there? 
Wow, what a great little informative story. I learned so much about Al-Aqsa Mosque and all the little mosques there. And we also learned about Al-Isra wa Miraj and what that means, the night journey. And our Prophet, peace be upon him, went from Mecca to Al-Aqsa all the way to the seven heavens. Do you know where Al-Aqsa Mosque is, boys and girls? Have you seen pictures of it? It's in Palestine. Do you know much about that country? Do you know what's happening today in Palestine? Maybe you can discuss it with your grown-up. Do let me know what you find out. It would be great to hear from you. I better go now, boys and girls, and I'll see you next time. Assalamu alaikum.